I'm Jasmine and today I'm doing a DIY kitchen makeover, extreme makeover on a low budget. I spent under $100 for everything, which was amazing. And I was able to repurpose things and reuse things that I've already had and just make them look different and fresh and new, which was awesome. So I'm excited to show you. Let's get started. So the first thing that I did was decide exactly how I wanted the kitchen to look. Maybe not exactly, but get an idea of the style and the color palette that I was going for. I had a little bit of a hard time deciding between black cabinets or white cabinets, but I noticed myself pinning a lot of the black cabinets with the gold or the brass handles, so I decided to go with that. And then kind of keeping it in with this lighter wood tone. Here's some before shots of the kitchen. The cabinets were white with stainless steel and the table was white with a dark wood stain on top. This table was actually my first DIY but I forgot to get footage of it. So here's a picture, I just took it apart, painted the bottom black, sanded and stained the top of the table, a lighter wood color. So I started off just by painting the walls of the kitchen. I got this paint from Walmart, really inexpensive, I think $13 for the can. And then I removed the doors of the cabinets and I painted them black. I got this black paint, it was like a chalk paint from Walmart as well for $13. Another way that I saved money in this makeover was by saving the same hinges that were already on the cabinets and just spray painting them gold to match the handles that I bought. Then I reattach the hinges to the cabinet doors and attach the handles to the front side as well. I got these handles on Amazon for about $10. And here's the final product. So for this DIY, I found this old bar cart my mom was getting rid of, and I took it apart and I sanded it and I stained it to restore it. Once the stain had dried, I took some E6000 glue and some material that I found at Joann's and replaced the windows. This next DIY is actually stools that me and my old roommate had found on the curb. I didn't want to get rid of them, so I sanded them down and I was going to restain them a color to match the table, but I really loved the way that they came out. So I left them in this natural wood color. So this DIY was more of a refresh. I used these canisters that I had that were brass, but kind of starting to get worn out. I taped around the edges and I flipped them over and I spray painted them with a gold spray paint that was about $3.94 from Home Depot. And this is how they turned out. Super beautiful. I found this really beautiful backsplash of subway tiles that's just a peel and stick on Amazon and I attached it to the wall. It was really simple and I just cut away the excess with an X-Acto knife. So I attempted to hang these floating wall shelves, but the drywall wasn't taking the screws in. I think it's because we live in a converted garage and the walls are a little bit rickety. So I attempted multiple times, but it just wasn't working. We are finally to the best part of the makeover. It's the styling part. So I have all my decor pieces right here on the table. Some brass, some wood for a different texture, and some greenery, which is amazing. I can't wait to put it in. Um, a little side note, these, I was trying to hang these floating shelves, and it was just such a nightmare that I ended up using these brackets 
from Ikea, which were super inexpensive, I think less than a dollar, but I already had them laying around, so I'm just using them. They're not my favorite, but I know we can make them look cute in this space. So let's get to styling. So pretty much the only thing I bought in this space is the wall shelves. Everything else I already had and I just either up, um, upcycled it or um, pulled it from somewhere else in my house. So I have these really pretty brass containers that look like sugar and flour. And I'm gonna put them here just to kind of camouflage some of the, um, the bracket. And then I'll also put one on this side to kind of camouflage the bracket too. And I think it needs something just nestled right in the middle. So we'll put these. That looks good. And so we have the white, the brass, and the wood. So I wanna do the same thing um, up top, I have some height, I want some height at the top just to kind of make the wall look a little bit taller. So we'll put this one, fluff it up a little bit. And then I also wanted to include this picture frame, which says the secret ingredient is always love. And I had it in my living room, but I feel like it makes more sense. Sorry, my camera cut off. Okay, so. We also have this sign, which says gather, which was also in my living room, but makes more sense here in the kitchen. So we'll put it up right there. And then I have these brass utensils, serving utensils. So I'm going to hang these up here on this rack that I already had. So everything's kind of staying in a cohesive theme with the brass and the wood and the white and the black and greenery. And then these finishing touches. And then we'll add some decor over here near the stove area. I also wanted to decorate the table, so I used these square placemats made out of jute as a table runner, this round tray to add another element of shape, this jar candle, and two canisters to add height to the table, and another plant. And now we can run the after shots. Thank you so much for watching and for sticking with me this long if you've made it this far and go ahead and comment subscribe um, like this video and I'm so thankful for you I'll see you on the next one